Hi, I'm Sandy and welcome to Life with Sandy. Well, good morning, and it is morning. Today is Wednesday, Ash Wednesday, February 22nd. And we have one birthday. Today is Jessica Wilson's birthday. So, Jessica, happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Jessica. Happy birthday to you. Cha-cha-cha. Well, I hope you have a great birthday. Well, I, as you can see, no walk today. Um, I got up early because we're supposed to have an ice storm today. And it just had started before I left for church for Ash Wednesday services. And uh, it's really starting to come down now. I don't know if you can hear it on the windshield. But uh, I wanted to... They had other services today, but I didn't know how bad the weather was going to be, so I thought I'd get this, not to get it in, but, you know, I wanted to make sure I got to it to get my ashes for today. But I do kind of miss my walk, but I wouldn't have been able to go for my walk because uh, it, it started once I got up, and I got up earlier than I normally get up, so they weren't predicting it was going to start till like, noon, but... Uh, it started around here around 10 o'clock so uh, it was just starting when I went to church and now it's getting pretty bad <coughs> um, Jim doesn't Jim's not going to the gym he always goes on Wednesdays I said you're not going to the gym and he said no I'm not gonna go I don't want to deal with all that traffic and the weather and the roads and all that but okay so I'll get some sort of exercise in today I'm not exactly sure what kind of exercise I'll get in, but I'll get some sort of exercise in. But I'm going to eat very lightly today. Um, I probably will eat three meals, but two small meals and one bigger meal. I have my leftover salad. I didn't realize how much salad it was until I started filming it. And then Jim says, oh my gosh, that's enough for three people. And then I looked at it and I thought, oh yeah, that is a lot of salad. But the, the chicken was really filling because uh, I had some leftover chicken from the day before. And so I, I got enough protein between my chicken and my cottage cheese. I know I got my protein in, and I got my vegetables in. So I'll probably have the rest of that salad and the tuna fish sandwich for dinner tonight. And then when I get home here, I'm probably going to have a bowl of, uh, I don't know if I'm going to have Rice Krispies or Wheaties, one of the two. I'm going to have a bowl of cereal. And then later on, I'll just have something light, maybe a hard-boiled egg and a piece of cheese or something. But... Um, I'm still feeling very strongly that I've made the right choice about not getting weighed. Uh, it's, you know, it's not really going to hit me until Monday because like I said, I only weigh myself once a week. And, uh, so if I wait till Monday when I normally get up and that's when I would have normally had my, uh, weigh in, then it might bother me. <laughs> but, uh, and it might not even this week, it probably one week because I've missed weeks like when I'm on vacation or something that way and it didn't really affect me but uh, what I need to do is go on vacation because I am the rare breed person that when I go on vacation I lose weight only because of my bathroom issues I sort of have a little bit of an irritable bowel syndrome so uh, yeah, I know TMI but if I eat from uh, restaurants that I don't normally eat from their uh, spices or something. I don't know what. It, I, I really just think it's the additives because the same thing affects me when I'm home. But when I when I eat out and I go home, I have my bathroom right there. Whereas when you're traveling, you know, they don't come really quick. So, and then of course day three, I had to have issues with somebody on the phone. Uh, Jim's prescriptions. We I told you that we switched over to a new uh, prescription company. Uh, because of our insurance and they were supposed to uh, send him a 30-day supply through the mail 
And so I had called and set up a payment plan, gave them, you know, my debit card so that they could deduct the money for the card and for the medication and that. And then the doctor had given them a two-week supply just to wait for it. Well, Jim's always the one to wait to the last minute to tell me anything because, you know, I called it in and just forgot about it. And so then Jim mentioned this morning, he says, well, I've only got one more pill left. Oh, that man of mine. So I called um, over to the prescription place to find out how come he hasn't got his 30-day his supply yet. And uh, they lost the prescription. So they said they had to call the doctor. So I was on hold with them while they were trying to call the doctor. We know why I'm le This was like another nail in the coffin of why I'm leaving this doctor. I was on hold with the... the uh, we do Caremark. I was on hold with them for a half an hour while they were trying to get a hold of somebody in the doctor's office. And so finally she came back and she apologized and she says, I am so sorry, but I've been on hold for like 20 minutes and nobody's answering my calls. She said, the only thing I can suggest is if you call and instead of having them do a mail order, just have them call it into CVS, it'll be the same price. Well, I'd rather have it at CVS. It's just easier because CVS is just like a half a mile from my house. So I said, okay. So then I called and I had to leave a message. So I called the doctor. So I left the message. So we'll see how that works. I have a feeling they didn't go in today because of the weather. That's why nobody was answering the phone. It's whoever invented the automated system, I'd like to get a hold of them because the uh, you can't get you can't get a representative. You you never know. You try to phrase a question and the machine doesn't understand you and they connect you to the wrong department or they think that they can do everything online and they don't need to talk to a person. And then you get somebody on the line that's from another country that doesn't understand English. They speak English, they don't understand English. That's the difference. I can speak words of French because I took French in school. I took four years of French. I can speak words of French, but if you were to talk to me in French, <laughs> I'm not going to understand you. I'm, on, I'm perfectly honest about that. I can pick up different words, different phrases that you're saying, but it's just... I know, cheaper to do it overseas. And then I feel bad because you're not paying these people nearly enough money to do it just because you're trying to save a buck, you know. So it's it's just like a, a vicious circle going around and around. So I won't know until later on today when I call CVS to find out if the doctor actually called in the prescription. Who's to know? I have no idea. But uh, if not, I'll have to call again tomorrow and... But I think that they're not there on Thursdays. So Jim might have to skip a day of not taking any of his medications. I don't know. I don't think one day is going to make a big difference. But, you know, you kind of like to keep on a continuous basis on your, uh, on your plan of taking your medications and stuff. So we are now home. It wasn't so bad. I mean, uh, the freezing rain is not the greatest. But um, we'll see. They're saying we're supposed to get, uh, in my area, we're supposed to get a half an inch to three quarter inch uh, ice, which is a lot of ice that's going to be heavy on the wires. We don't have uh, underground wires in my subdivision. All of our wires are overhead. Some of them are underground, but for the most part, they're overhead. So, but we have a generator, remember? <laughs> so, okay, that's going to do it for now. Um, I got my Lenten book that I'm going to start reading. And you know what gets me? is like they have it by the door. And there's a sign, clear as day, please make a dollar donation. A dollar is not that bad. I don't think a dollar. And everybody that grabbed the book didn't put a dollar in. I'm thinking, I don't know. All right, starting off Lent being petty. That's not good. That's not good at all. Forget that I said that. <laughs> okay, I'll talk to you. I'll show you my food, and I'll talk to you at the end of the day. How's that sound? For breakfast, <clears throat> we're going to have a bowl of rice or Wheaties with some bananas, tea, and a glass of orange juice. Today is Wednesday, February 22nd. Take the first step, then another. Breakfast is one and a half cups of Wheaties, one cup of 2% milk, eight ounces of Simply Light, no, Tropicana 50 orange juice, and eight ounces of Diet Cranberry juice, and a banana. Check my tracker at the end of the day to see how many points I used. Well, look who's got a visitor bulking up for the uh, ice storm that's coming. It is pretty slippery out there right now, anyhow. But 
We'll name him Woody, Woody Woodpecker. How's that sound? Okay, for dinner, I'm gonna have my leftover salad, a sugar-free jello, a tuna fish sandwich, some avocado, a hard-boiled egg, and a glass of tea. So I'm gonna have the tuna sandwich as an open sandwich. It's got celery and lettuce on it. Uh, the salad from last night, my hard-boiled egg, my sugar-free jello, my tea, and 72 grams of avocado. Dinner is served. Well, the salad didn't hold up as well as when you put it in there dry. I already had the dressing put on the salad, so it was a little wet. I did finish most of it. I didn't finish all of it, but I ate a good portion of it. Um, I only had two meals today. I just, the cereal really filled me up, and I am trying to fast for today only. So I just, I had a big dinner, so it kind of will hold me over till tomorrow. That'll do it for tonight. So if you're new to my channel, please subscribe, leave a comment, hit the like button, share tomorrow, share it if you think somebody might like to see it. I'm rushing myself here. Talk to you guys tomorrow. <laughs>